Welcome back guys. This is the Obspot Tail Air PTZ tracking camera. So what's so special about the Tail Air? Well, quite a lot actually. It shoots in 4K and at different frame rates. So we've got 24, 25 or 30 frames a second, which is fantastic for matching it to Project Timeline. It can live stream on Wi-Fi or on data. We've got HDMI out. You can control the camera with the Obspot app, but you don't need to because it's got gesture controls. More pixels on the sensor means it shoots better in low light. So we've come here to London South Bank and we're going to go in there to Crazy Bull to check out the low light performance. I love you pronounced that right. I, I have to pronounce it's basically it right. French at this point. I have to, we're basically French. We spend most of our time in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on Crazy Bull. Let's do it. So the thing that really sets the tail air apart is the AI featured tracking. The tracking on this thing is really impressive. And how is the audio, by the way? This is the audio from the tail air. Along with human tracking and object tracking, we've also got animal tracking. It does animal tracking. And the Opspot mobile app does give you a massive amount of control over the manual settings of the camera. So that's coming up in a future video. Now on the side here, we've got a mini HDMI out, a little slot for the SD card. Around the back here, we've got the USB-C port for charging. And what's even cooler, on the bottom, we've got a quarter inch screw so you can mount it to a tripod. On the subsets of charging, we've got 90 minutes charge time. I've actually found it to be a little bit less than that. And about 150 minutes run time on one charge. So if you want to check out an Obspot Tail Air for yourself, we've got a link in the description. And if you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.